Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. This is Katie, and if you're new here, hello and welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're back, welcome back. Today, I am really, really excited to share with you a post review from a brand new diamond painting company. And this is the first kit I've worked on from them and recently finished. And this is the absolutely beautiful red fox this kit is from as i mentioned a brand new diamond painting company with licensed artwork called true artist diamond painting their shop is on etsy of course i'm going to link them in the description below i also recommend following along with them on instagram because they've posted previews and updates and whatnot over there the owner is really really sweet i've chatted with her a few times and gotten to hear a little bit more about her process and mission behind this company and you guys i am all about it all about it they are so supportive of artists and they're dedicated to bringing diversity and just really fresh new perspectives to diamond painting it's one of the things that i really really love most about diamond painting companies like this is when they have a mission like that. So this is a piece that's licensed from the artist, Gwen Seamel, which I may be mispronouncing that. And True Artist Diamond Painting has a couple of different pieces from her that are animals. I believe there's some penguins and some birds. They're adorable and have this really similar art style to them. Now, if you're curious, I'll go ahead and I will put up the original artwork here for you to take a look at. And, you know, I think that they did a really fabulous job of rendering this piece. I feel like it matches the original art style really, really well. And interestingly enough, when I was talking to the owner, whose name I'm blanking on, I'm so sorry, is it Grace? Um, I was chatting with her and she mentioned that one of the things that they try to do is to, as much as they can, match the dimensions and the proportions of the diamond paintings to the original artwork. And they were able to do that with most of this artist's pieces. And that's something, honestly, I hadn't really thought of before, that that affects the composition of a piece if you really wildly change the size, like make it a lot smaller or larger. So that's just a neat little factoid for you guys. <laughs> so this was 40 by 40 centimeters, so kind of snack sizey, And it had 30 colors and was all in round drills. And they're sparkly and yeah, look at that shimmer. Oh my goodness, this piece is so cute. Now I have a real soft spot for foxes, just a real, just sweet association with them because we did my entire oldest son's nursery and room and all things foxes. And so I'm very, very drawn to foxes. I mean, look at this cute washi tape even. <laughs> so, I was really, really happy with, like I mentioned, the company's mission and just their overall presentation. They had really, really cute packaging. They shipped super fast. I feel like the price point was really, really reasonable for what you're getting for licensed artwork and really high quality. This is poured glue. And this canvas, I'm not entirely sure what this material is because the backing to it I don't know if I've seen a diamond painting company with this kind of backing before, but it's almost like, it's almost felt like in the way that it feels. Um, it did lay pretty flat when all was said and done. There were a couple of spots that I feel like maybe would have laid even flatter if I would have put it under like a mattress or something heavy. You could see a little crease there and just a little bit in the way of creases on the back. But to be totally honest, I you don't notice them once the drills are all down. I feel like this looks like it's laying really nicely and you know, you're not seeing any folds in the canvas whatsoever. I really was happy with the quality of the poured glue. It's it was really sticky um, in a good way, but not not in the same way as like double-sided adhesive where you can't make adjustments if you need to. I thought the drill quality was really great. And I had leftovers in every color so they gave us plenty look at that rainbow of colors isn't that beautiful <laughs> um the quality was really good on these overall and uh this was round drills so there you don't run into as, as many issues with those but 
I was really happy with these all said and done. This piece, as I mentioned, had 30 colors. And <laughs> I feel like aside from like just a little bit of color blocking that happened here, you could take any like small portion of this canvas, like, you know, here and every single one of those 30 colors would be there. If you get up close, you can see how it is very confetti heavy, but really that's what this art style what this artist style is like you know i think that it all comes together really beautifully and even though the confetti you know meant that i didn't do a lot of multi-placing i it it fit really well and it was really a, a joy to work on so i didn't mind all the confetti if you're curious, I did actually take a picture of the confetti that was, I think, right about here, like in this section. I took a picture of the canvas, like just the charted canvas without very many drills on it. And I'll insert that here if you want to see what I mean by confetti. <laughs> now, you can also tell from this picture that the symbols were maybe just a little saturated. I didn't have any trouble reading them or distinguishing between any of the symbols, but it just felt just a hair saturated. Um, I Like they could tone it down a little bit, but at the same time, maybe that just was sort of fitting the style of this particular painting because since it's round drills, you're gonna see the colors behind them. And this piece is so vibrant, it probably really lends itself best to having equally vibrant canvas colors behind it. I don't know. Um, that's kind of up to you to decide. It wasn't the kind of saturation that gives me a headache like I've seen with some other companies. Um, this, you know, it was just, I just noticed it was a little bit different than some other canvases I've worked on. But again, I loved the symbol clarity. I thought that they picked good symbols to work with all around happy. <laughs> and that, that really goes for this kit as a whole. I think the finished effect is beautiful. The whole experience of working on this kit from the time that I ordered to the time that I finished it was just super pleasant. It was enjoy. It was a joy to work on. And in spite of the confetti in this one, it actually worked up pretty quickly. I am a little bit of a fast diamond painter, but I was just enjoying this so much, I kept reaching for it over my other whip. <laughs> so I started this on a Saturday and finished it, I think on Wednesday, the following Wednesday. So it was just a four to five day project, but 40 by 40 centimeters that, you know, that can go pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I just, I'm overall, I'm so happy with this. I like the surged edges on it. They've got branding for a, for a brand new company. They've got legends on both sides <laughs> for a brand new company. This is incredible, incredible quality. I am blown away that this is one of the very first kits that they released. I think it might've been the third or fourth kit that they released and like, I'm putting this quality wise, like right up there with distracted by diamonds, diamond art club, that sort of thing. The one thing I'm most looking forward to with this company is seeing what else they have to offer. And as of the time of this filming, it's a Saturday night. They just released a new kit from a new artist. They dropped three other new kits from a different artist this past week. She's really rolling out and releasing the new kits as quickly as she can. And I am loving what I am seeing. One of the ones she just released tonight is like 60 by 80. So it's on the larger size. She does have some kits that are in square drills. I haven't had the chance to try one yet or order one yet, but I'm keeping an eye out for that because I'd love to see how those work up. But suffice it to say, after my first experience with their company and their kit, uh, I, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm all about it. I highly recommend them and I will definitely be purchasing from them again. I have one other kit from them in my stash that is like the dragon. That was one of their very first two releases. I haven't had the chance to work on it yet, but I like want to gravitate towards it <laughs> right away because this was so fun to work on. But 
yeah, I I am definitely going to be all <laughs> over the other kits that she's releasing and definitely think you should go check her out as well. I would encourage you to, even if you go to her shop and you don't see any kits that are immediately calling to you, either because they're not in stock or they haven't been released yet, hit the heart button on the Etsy shop and that way you can easily track with when she does add new releases to the shop. Now, as of the time of this filming, I and several other people I have talked to are having major issues with Etsy sending notifications when shops that we've favorited add new stock. So just in case that's something you weren't aware of, like that's something I've been having issues with for the past week or two. I'm hoping Etsy fixes it, but just in case <laughs> it's still going on when you see this video and you weren't already aware, now you know, just keep an eye on it. And so I'm just going back to like the my favorites tab on Etsy and regularly checking through the shops in there to make sure I don't miss anything like the new release that True Artist dropped tonight. So I would be so curious to hear your thoughts both on seeing this piece completed and from what you've seen from what they have in the shop and what they've shared on Instagram. Is this a shop that you think you might want to try out? Um, is it a place you already have ordered from or had the chance to work on a piece from? Just overall, what are you th your thoughts? I know I am just so excited to have another shop in the diamond painting community that's offering licensed artwork, has poured glue and really high quality kits, and has this heart at their mission um, that is to bring more diversity to the diamond painting community and what kits are available for us to work on. So really quick, in case you didn't already see this as well, they actually just a couple of days ago put up a kit that is specifically all proceeds are going towards an organization that is against um, violence against Asian American and Pacific Islander populations. So I love that about this company, that they are all about putting their money where their mouth is. So please go and check them out. I'm not sure if that kit will still be in stock when this video goes up. It was a really cute little snack size kit, 30 by 30. And like I said, all proceeds will be going to an organization that is supporting this cause. So definitely go and check out True Artist Diamond Painting. Let me know your thoughts on this kit and this company in general. And yeah, I'd love, love to hear what you guys think as always. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up before you click away. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I share lots of diamond painting content like post reviews, unboxings, tutorials, whip and chats, that sort of thing, and would love to have you here. Leave any questions, comments, concerns, and snarky remarks down in the comments, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye, friends.